Hi everyone, Sam here. Welcome to this very first episode of a new series called ARM Template Masterclass. In this series we're going to be looking at Azure Resource Manager templates and the aim is that if you're new to looking at ARM templates um, this course will take you from the very beginning where you might know nothing at all about writing and using ARM templates right through to using them to deploy complicated infrastructure and using some advanced techniques. I'll be aiming to release a new episode every week and with each episode covering a specific topic that you can follow along with, try out the tutorials and get up to speed on using ARM templates. So if you're looking to get started with ARM templates, you want a refresher on how they work or maybe you're just looking for some of the more advanced techniques, this course will help you get up to speed and get going using ARM templates to deploy your Azure infrastructure. So in this first episode we're going to do two things. Firstly, we're going to take a quick look at what ARM templates are, if you've never heard of them, what are they for, why would you want to use them, what benefits do they bring you, and then we're going to get you set up with all the prerequisites you need in place to be able to follow along with the rest of this series and get going with using ARM templates. So let's get started. First things first, what are ARM templates? Azure Resource Manager is the underlying fabric that controls how deployments uh, of resources in Azure work. If you've been using Azure for a long time, you will remember when it first came out, we had this thing called Azure Service Manager, which was how the old um, VMs and cloud services and so on got deployed. That got deprecated a long time ago and was replaced by Azure Resource Manager, which is the new way to manage your deployments and look after your infrastructure running in Azure. So ARM templates are one way of how you define what you want to deploy in Azure and then actually deploy it. And ARM templates are Microsoft's implementation of infrastructure as code for Azure. Infrastructure as code is the technique of defining your infrastructure in your code files rather than by manually going through and creating um, infrastructure or defining it as a set of scripts. And so the big difference between something like ARM templates and PowerShell scripts is the imperative versus declarative syntax. So when you write a PowerShell script or CLI or whatever, you are giving it a list of commands you want to run. Do this, do this, do this, do this. With an ARM template, you're not doing that. With an ARM template, you're not doing this. You're, de you're declaring your infrastructure. So you're saying my infrastructure deployment consists of a storage account, a SQL database, a web application. And here are the parameters that I want to use for those particular pieces of infrastructure. I'm not interested in how these are deployed under the hood. That's not my job, that's the ARM fabric. All I'm saying is I want a storage account, I want a SQL database, and they're gonna be this size, and they're gonna be in this region, and off you go. The Azure platform takes care of interpreting that and turning it into your actual infrastructure. So they're declarative rather than imperative. What that also means is that your templates are idempotent. So you can run your template as many times as you want and you should get the same results every time. It also means you can use that template to deploy multiple different environments using the same declarative syntax, changing the parameters, and what you get out the end of it should be the same, except where you've parameterized things like names and so on, but the results should be the same each time because you're not doing things in an imperative fashion, you're declaring I want this infrastructure. Infrastructure as code is a fairly popular technique nowadays, so you will find there are lots of different ways to do that. Uh, Azure has ARM templates, AWS has cloud formation, and then there are tools that run across platforms like Terraform, uh, Pulumi, that can be used across multiple clouds and for on-prem infrastructure and so on. We'll be focusing on Azure Resource Manager templates and how we can use them to declaratively create infrastructure in Azure. Now you know roughly what an ARM template is, let's get you set up so that you'll be able to follow along with this series when we start doing some actual template creation and deploy some resources. So what are you going to need? First things first, you'll need a computer to actually work on. Now this can be Windows, Mac, Linux, doesn't matter. All of the tools we're going to use now are cross-platform and you'll be able to run them on whichever platform you prefer, so pick whichever one you want. Second up, you are going to need an Azure account to be able to actually deploy resources. If you've already got an Azure account, that's absolutely fine, we can use that one. If you haven't got one at the moment, you can go ahead and create a free Azure account, which gives you a number of resources for free, 
as well as $250 worth of credit to start up with. Um, so this is the best and easiest way to get started. Now, if you're watching this video close to release in April 2020, um, you may find that you can sign up for a free account, but you might have some difficulty in creating resources. Unfortunately, due to the current ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, Microsoft are having to restrict resources that can be launched in Azure. And one of the things they're doing in some regions where there are problems is preventing free accounts from creating resources. This is unfortunate, but obviously resources need to be able to go where they're needed. Um, and so hopefully you'll be able to get that going soon. But once that has all been cleared up, you'll be able to use a free account to do whatever we're talking about in this series. Okay, next up, we're going to need a tool to actually write our templates in. Now. ARM templates can be written in pretty much anything. There's no special tools required to do that. You could write them in Notepad if you wanted to, but there are a number of tools out there that will help with this process. Uh, and I would recommend you look at using Visual Studio Code. It's free um, and it does a lot of useful plugins and tools that we're gonna look at in a minute that will help us building ARM templates. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Mac, so everyone should be able to use it. And as I said, it's free. You can also look at using tools like Visual Studio, which also has some functionality for ARM templates, but obviously Visual Studio has a cost, and so we'll be sticking with Visual Studio Code. If you've got another favorite IDE that supports creating these sort of files, um, then feel free to use that, but if you wanna follow exactly what I'm doing, get Visual Studio Code. Once you've got Visual Studio Code installed, you'll want to install the Azure Resource Manager Tools template. This is the one produced by Microsoft, and it's full of a number of useful things like IntelliSense, code snippets, um, code completion and all sorts of different things. So if you search in the plugin section in Visual Studio Code for ARM template tools and you'll get this one here, Azure Resource Manager ARM tools. Be careful not to install ARM because that's not for Azure Resource Manager, that's for the ARM processor language. It isn't going to help us here. So if we click on that and you can see there all the features it implements and how it's going to be useful for us in our tutorials. So let's go ahead and install that. A couple of other tools that might be useful for you when we're doing this. The next one is this ARM template viewer, which allows us to graphically display ARM templates. It's quite a useful tool created by Ben Coleman. So we'll install that. One thing you don't need anymore, you might see reference to it in other places, but is the ARM template snippet, which is an extension that I wrote. It's now been fully integrated into the resource manager tools extension. Um, so you don't need to put the separate extension in anymore. The last extension I would recommend is just the PowerShell extension. We aren't going to be doing massive amounts of PowerShell in this course, but we will use it occasionally, and it's quite useful to have this tool installed. So let's go ahead and add that. And the last thing I want to mention is the command line. So most of what we're going to be doing is going to be in ARM templates in Visual Studio Code, no command line required. However, at some points during the process, we are going to need to actually deploy our templates. And so the easiest way to do that is going to be from the command line. I would recommend that you install PowerShell if you can. So if you're on Windows, Mac or Linux, you can install PowerShell Core. That, that'll work absolutely fine for what we're doing. Um, and I would also recommend you install the Azure PowerShell commandlets, which we can do by running this command. Install module AZ and that will go ahead and install those for you. I'll put all these links and commands in the show notes so you'll be able to pick them up, um, but I would recommend you install those. It is possible not to use PowerShell, you can instead use the Azure CLI. Um, and if you want to go ahead and do that instead, that's absolutely fine, but the examples I'll be using in these videos are gonna be using PowerShell to do the deployment rather than CLI, but it's up to you. Finally, if you have issues being able to install PowerShell and the PowerShell modules or any sort of command line tools, you can instead use the Cloud Shell to run your commands as well. The only slight complication with that is you will have to upload your ARM templates that you've written into Cloud Shell to actually run them, which can be a bit cumbersome. So the easiest approach is going to be to run PowerShell and either the PowerShell CLI, or, uh, sorry, the Azure PowerShell commandlets or the CLI on your desktop or laptop, but Cloud Shell is an option if you want to. Okay, and with that, you've got all the tools installed that you'll need to be able to create some ARM templates. And so in the next episode, we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna have a look at how ARM templates work, what they look like, and we're gonna create our first simple template to deploy some resources so you can get your first taste of deploying Azure resources using ARM templates in a declarative fashion. 
So hopefully I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good rest of your day. I'll see you then.